In this video, we'll continue on with creating an advanced drill down bar chart in Chart.js. This is part seven. And what we have so far is basically we have these buttons here working. Oh, of course, this one doesn't work, of course, because you cannot go back or cannot go further anymore. Next, what we have is the Hoover effect of all. You can see here when we hovered, we already created that. We have this created Hoover effect. And what we want to do now is this button must become clickable so i'm recognizing all of this button so let's start to work on this because we had the hardest part was to create the button and of course draw the uh clickable area or basically or not even the clickable area the hoover area now we're going to create the, the clickable area which is another part it's very similar but luckily it's slightly easier because we already did the heavy lifting of the coordinates so what we're going to do in here is following i'm going to say here the CTX because of course we need to track first where do we click on on the canvas we need to track again the click this one here tracks the mouse movement and to get the X and Y coordinates but this one here now you're going to track the click effects or the events the click events that when we click on some part on here we need to get the X and Y coordinates and we need to check if that match within this specific box here all right, so we say you add event listener. And then in here, what we're going to say here, what is this? This is a click event. So it's a click, comma. We can say here again, E, that's all right. And then here, this is a callback function that will immediately trigger another function that we're going to create. And this function that we're going to create can be our, uh, well, what we can say here is maybe our uh, click button. Click button handler and this here what it is ctx comma e so we have this function here now it's time to work on the function and we can just put it here bulk then we say a function this and then here very very similar as the bulk except now we can say a canvas or ctx whatever you want to say and then we say click instead of mouse move why because we're going to use a click and click is probably the most descriptive event in our case for for what we want to do so this, basically it could be anything it could be even hoover or abc whatever you want but the thing is that give it here a very descriptive term that if anyone else would work on the code would at least understand what is this has to do with and being here click is very this very descriptive and same with the canvas here all right uh, what we're going to do now is the following so we're going to do here the click handler and then or uh, yeah, the click button handler and then what we want to say here again very similar to your ball luckily we have this already so we have the x and y and you might say are we oh sorry are we allowed to use again constant x and y here while we have it above the answer is yes and the reason why we are allowed to do this is because the constant is what we call a block scope and the block scope is based on basically in the brackets here and in this case it's within this function only so it doesn't work and respond outside the function so once we have this we have that one we can continue on then we can basically copy almost similar to this here so but I, I'll just type it again so we have this so we say X if X will be larger than coordinates dot left remember we have all these coordinates already we already created them watch the previous video if you don't understand what we did then we say here coordinates and then x should should be smaller than coordinates dot right and what we want is the y should be uh, larger than coordinates dot top and y needs to be smaller than coordinates dot bottom so by doing this then you'll see here if I semicolon here, and you just here. Oh, uh, this is an if statement, of course. So if it's an if statement, create races, and here I'll just do semicolon here and semicolon there. Then I'll say you just console the log, and then here we can say clicked reset button. All right, save this semicolon here. Save. Go back here, and then here there we are oh what happened if we click on it mouse move is not defined 
All right. Oh, of course. So let me explain here. I was talking about this mouse move and I copied this. And then what happened, what I'm doing here is mouse move, which should not be because of course we have you know, the click. Sorry about this. Make sure, make sure you pay attention on that. Save that, refresh it now. Click, click, click. There we are. We have clicked the button and this works. Let's remove all the console logs that are not necessary. So delete this, save that, refresh. There we are, we click this. So this is now working. So what I want to do here is of course to create a function. So that will be the very last video. But of course, what I want to do here, just for the sake of it, I want to make sure here, I'll say here, uh, well, let's put it up here. I don't want to do it here, but I just do it here. I'll say function update chart. Here, we won't do anything yet. But all I want to do here is, I want to cut out this. I put it in here. Then you will see that this will work. And then I'll say here, uh, what is the name? Update chart, semicolon, save this. So basically it says here, if we click on it, trigger this function here. So save this, refresh. Click. All right, what did it do? Absolutely nothing. Uh, what happened? Update, update the chart. Oh. Update chart function. It didn't work. Did I need to do like this? Save that. Refresh. There you are. All right. So we just had to put in the parentheses. I thought last time we didn't have to put it, but that's all right. Acceptable. It works. That's all that matters. So you can see here now we click this and it says here click reset button. Beautiful. So next video, we're going to complete this item here and work on this function.